Okay, and that's um, easier said than done, but I guess uh, it takes some explaining and that's what I want to do. So anyway, the first piece I just played, um, I'll just go through it section by section and then you'll get an idea of what's going on um, with both the harp and the guitar. The first section uh, goes... Okay. Okay, we have uh, an F, basically an F triad here. Okay, so these... these these three notes, together with the A and the C and the E, form an F major 7 chord. Okay, now the next chord I'm playing is a B flat major 7, because... Okay, major 7. Okay, and the ninth, third, sharp 11th, and the 5th. Okay, upon first listen, you might think that the harp is playing all of that melody. But in reality, the guitar notes are mixed in there as well. And even some of the notes that I'm playing here are diatonic to the, the harp as well. They're common to the harp. There's two Cs. So there's a unison there, but it forms a, 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 a kind of a cascading kind of melody. Okay, anyway, so what I'm doing is blending them ever so strategically, ever so um, melodically, I guess that would be the right word. It follows what I have in, in, in inside of me as far as what the composition is all about. So in my head, I've heard boom, 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 and to bring that out on the guitar. Okay, um, but what is going on there is an equal um, distribution of notes between the harp and the guitar, uh, and so it blends into this one sound, and that's what I was talking about a minute ago about playing the instrument as one instrument, not as like two instruments, uh, or not thinking of it as two separate instruments at all. It's, it's all one instrument. Okay. Anyway, uh, integrating the notes together to form uh, these cascading melodies and arpeggios is the idea behind what I'm playing. Um, go back to that section again. Here's a D. But the D is also here. They're both common, but I only play the D on the guitar section because that is the, is the note. It gives me a flowing kind of feel. I could just play it. I could play it on the harp right there, but it just sounds different. It sounds better to me um, played on the guitar because I want that kind of cascading flow. Okay. So anyway, um, let's go to this. This is the C I just talked. I just talked about a minute ago. The fifth of the key. Notice this finger here, this finger here. Okay, there's no G on the harp. It goes down to an A. If I want a G, I got one right there. Okay? And if I wanted to play a G mixolydian scale, I could play. Are there on the instrument, of course. It's just how you blend them um, between the harp, how you, how you how you distribute them between the harp and the guitar. But the trick is, the trick is, not all the notes on the harp will will go with whatever um, harmonic, um, you know, har whatever is going on harmonically at any given time. So you have to be very careful. For example. The 
chord progression is as simple F, B flat, and C. Okay? Now if I play the B, all of a sudden. So the B right here, I'm avoiding it at all costs at this particular, in this particular section of the tune. Uh, later on, I use it to a nice effect. You get a nice, a nice G7 flat 9 kind of um, sound, a diminished kind of sound you can get adding the B into the key. Anyway, we'll talk about that later, but what I'm just trying to say is uh, I, I'm often avoiding some of the notes uh, on the harp section because they'll clash with some of the notes on the guitar. Uh, for example, the next section goes... Now this section is B flat, C, B flat, F, B flat, C, B flat, F. Those are, those are the chords that are going up, like that, okay? So hitting a B, it doesn't sound right, okay? I mean, I, I like atonal music and whatever, um, you know, harmonic uh, complexities one might find in jazz, of course, but in this particular section, doesn't work. You want to avoid the B. Okay. Then in the next chord, okay, the next chord is an E flat. D, B flat. Okay. So I'm avoiding the E on the harp right here. So a minute ago I was playing the E right here. Right there, there's the E. Sounds nice. But when I go down to the E flat chord, I don't want to play the E here. Doesn't sound so good, does it? So I'm careful about all these notes that I'm playing on the harp, how they might clash with the notes on the, on the guitar. So, okay. Anyway, all these things are going on in my head, of course. Avoid the E. So this particular phrase is the E flat major seven sharp 11 and then it goes down to a D so it's a D7 but the harp notes are common to both the E flat major 7 and the D7 I can play the chorus Of course, uh, some of these notes that I'm avoiding might sound good um, clashing with some uh, phrases. For example, okay, you got some um, some dominant seven, kind of an altered. Of sound going on with the G7 altered, C major 7. So in this particular tuning, uh, it's not just limited to the key of F or the key of B flat, Lydian, or anything like that, or D minor, uh, Aeolian at all. Uh, you could have all different kind of um, keys that you could run through. But anyway, um, before I get ahead of myself, I hope it was clear, this last section I just played. <laughs> 